Welcome to Zed. If you are new, 3K to purchase during the drop. So a couple of things here. Um, we don't know what the prices are going to be. Don't ask what the prices are going to be. We're not going to tell you. Well, I don't even know, but Jay's I not going to I don't know them tell either. You. No, I don't know. Okay, them. cool. <laughs> but look, Remy Racing has just put out predictions on what the, the prices are going to be. He's been pretty close before. If you've got 3K, um, I guess even I'm a little bit unsure on what the format's going to be this time. I know we've moved to Matic. We'll talk about that, obviously. We don't know if there's going to be a queue. We don't know if there's going to be a one horse per person situation going on. There's 44,000, last time I checked, 45,000 users on Discord. And I'm hinting that we're going to be dropping three, 4,000 horses. So there's going to be a lot of, um, I guess, unhappy customers. Previously, I would have said to spread your investment across a few horses. I've now um, changed my tune to that and going, I would say, look for about a 50% investment, try and get as good of a horse as you can for that and then save 50% for either buying a bred horse, breeding your own horses um, or hitting the, the P2P market. What are your thoughts, Jay? Very good advice. I, I would say the same exact thing. Um, obviously, the main reason that we don't release pricing is because we don't want people to invest into Ethereum, which is obviously fluctuating 24 seven, um, invest a certain amount and then have a crash 50% overnight. And then they don't have enough for the drop. So just invest, um, however much you're willing to spend. And hopefully those drop prices will make you guys happy. Um, I love this question from freedom racing. Now, the, the short answer is I don't know. Jay, Jay might, if he's if he's willing to say anything. All I can go off is of history and of history, especially we dropped they dropped two thousand horses last time in in a lot in four waves, um, and split them up in each different bloodline. I'm I'm going to assume it's a similar format. It worked really well until we got down the buterin end with some with some network issues. We've moved to Matic, so it's going to be a lot quicker. But maybe we'll see those buterins actually split up into a couple of drops as well. So the one thing that I will say is that there's more announcements to come. Obviously, today was not the last of them. Uh, there's a few more things that we are going to be announcing, and we're purposely delaying them. And that's really cool. all I can say. Um, so I'm going to go off history, and I'm just going to say I, I believe there will be waves. Um, I'm hinting that there will be some sort of queue with the amount of people that are here now. That is not official news. I'm just going to give you guys what I believe will happen. Um, I also believe that there'll probably be about three to 4,000 horses and they will be stacked towards buterins. I'm sorry if I'm giving things away. I, I love to sort of just tell people what I believe. That is not official news. That That's what I'm saying and, and, and assuming. I can't believe my Spidey Spencers were on. I said two weeks ago that it was going to drop this Friday. <laughs> I had a feeling. So, you know, we'll see what happens there. Yeah, for those that uh, were wondering, we we wanted to, you know, we didn't want to, we never want to close breeding and we we don't want these Genesis horses just sitting um, behind closed doors. We want them out in the public and we want people racing them. Uh, the main reason we delayed it is because we had issues on our end that we wanted to clear up before releasing horses into the ecosystem. And I think I was pretty, we were all pretty verbal about that, so. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, the, the, the migration to Matic in itself is huge. And then to throw in a, a massive bug in the breeding in the middle of that, I'm sure just absolutely took you guys um, off guard. And it's a limited team, guys. Like they're growing, but limited team. And there's only so many things they can do at once. Um, hopefully with this drop coming, it means that we can then push uh, a lot of those devs into breeding and open it up soon. That's what I'm most excited about is the breeding. So will the cost of bred horses go down after the drop? Um, I don't think so. From what I read recently, the the cost to breed Nakamoto's is actually going up. So that's going to make them more expensive. The only time I see the, the, the cost of the bred horses going down is when breeding has been open for a long time and the uh, number of users starts to sort of plateau and we start to actually fill the demand. We've got a high demand, low supply at the moment. So that's why these horses are so expensive. They may um, in the future come down. Um, that's just speculation. If, if, if Zed keeps going the way it is, I don't know if they'll ever come down. So that, you know, in my opinion, they might only ever go up. Um, for a question like this, it's really all speculation. Obviously, yeah. everybody within Zed believes there's going to be there's going to be breeding changes i don't really want to say anything more than that but the prices will pr it'll take a while for the the, uh, the prices to come down I, I mean they are attached to ethereum so it's like you know 0 0.1 ethereum is 0 0.1 ethereum whether ethereum is 3300 or 1600 like it was six weeks ago 
So mm. in regards to that, prices may come down, but if we're talking Ethereum, I think prices will stay exactly where they're at right now, if not go up. I, I wanted to actually shout something out. This is kind of not Q&A related, but I guess it can relate to maybe some questions. I've been um, testing with a few of my horses, and I think that there is really only one or maybe two distances that you should be running each horse at. And I don't oh, think it's yeah. more than that. I agree. <clears throat> I was under the impression that some horses could run even four or five distances. I don't think it's the case. I, I'm taking that back. I'm, I think it's one or two. Yeah, I um, I agree. Uh, I think the competition's way too high. I, I used to be able to ruck, run Ducky Mellon at every single distance, and she has won at a high rate at every single distance before. She now only she runs at three, right? So she does run at twelve hundred to sixteen hundred, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, uh, but I think if you're looking at her as one of the the pinnacles, good horses, one or two. Um, yep, I completely agree. So this is a, this is a great question. I think if you don't have a huge budget, should I get a colt or a filly? I personally love to get a filly as a first horse, personally because you can then breed that horse and build out your stable, and you can breed a filly twice every single month. And you can continue to breed that. So if you only have one horse, you can go to the breed barn. You're going to be paying a fee to breed it, obviously. But you can breed out your, your stable without having to rely on other people selling their horses. And I think that's quite important. Do you have anything to add on that? Or No, I think you nailed it all, really. I know we actually spoke about this offline, didn't we? We spoke about this the other yeah, day. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> which one do I think is more valuable? I My stance is kind of... I think a great male racer is the yeah. best thing you can have, but I think that Philly, actually, I, I know that Phillies are more, are more desirable to have right now. Obviously, if you can have both, I, I'd recommend using both. Um, I do think that Phillies are probably better as a starter horse, just for the idea of building out your stable, just like you said. I'm kept in the dark for a lot of things, and I've kind of requested it to be that way because I don't really want to know more than you guys and like i i use the platform my my role at zed right now is to be on top of the community so being able to use the platform and see the bugs before they're reported is like a huge part of my job and, and a huge role for me so i enjoy uh, doing that the the drop will be purchased on the zed run site nothing has um hinted that that will change it will be sold under this marketplace. There will be a countdown timer when they release a time that will essentially count down to the drop. So have your ETH ready in your wrapped ETH balance and be watching that marketplace timer for, for when that drop's happening. Yeah, it will It will be on the Zed site on the marketplace um, in WEATH. And um, I, I can just fire off a couple of these like yes or no questions. Are there plans to increase the number of mods in the Discord? Yes, we're always looking for people to help out. Um, feel free to DM me if you don't know. Now you do, my DMs are always open. Feel free to chat me about anything. I might be slow to answer, but I will get around to it. I promise you that. Um, there will be buying and selling directly on Zed in the future. Um, there will also be a renting service. For those who don't know that, I don't know awesome. how far that is out, but um, the idea is that users will be able to try the platform for free while um, people who have deep stables, like someone like Doofy, uh, would be able to rent those horses out risk free. And uh, we've dabbled with a couple of ways that that's going to work. And I, all of them are great ideas. Hopefully, we can implement all of them. So that's pretty cool. Awesome. I want to answer this question. Um, it has been asked a couple of times. Sorry that I have missed it. As I, as I mentioned, I'm, 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 I'm trying to keep up with the questions here. Um, I'm, I'm also reading your follow-up uh, comment that this is possibly a scam. Um, I, I want to highlight that because I don't want to jump over it. Um, look, do your own research. Um, Zed has been around for over three years now. This is not something that has popped up overnight, even though if you have only just seen it. I personally have been involved in Zed for over a year or there and thereabouts. Um, I have made a ton of money um, from just being a user on the platform. I am in no way associated to Zed Run. Um, I have no, no, um, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Um, investment in the company. Um, I, I am completely separate. I am a full-time digital horse trainer. 
And I essentially, um, this is my job now. I am 10 to 12 hours every day, breeding, racing, selling horses. That's what I do. Do your own research if, you, if you're weary. I, I don't think I've ever seen any, any um, comments or information out there that this could possibly be a scam. So do some research. But um, I'm not going to give you financial advice. Um, is there a possibility that it all blows up? Obviously, that I mean, nothing's ever 100% safe um, in that sense. But yeah, um, I think at the moment, it's pretty fair to say that there's been nothing hinted that it would ever crash, in my opinion. For me, the, one of the biggest draws of Zed was when I first heard about the drop uh, back in, I don't know, March 19th was when I got associated with Zed. When I heard about that drop and the price of a Z10 was $104, and that was when there was like 800 people in Discord, maybe 1,000. And then the next drop in the beginning of April, there was about fifteen or 20,000 people in the Discord, and the price went from $104 to $106. That was when I trusted the company that I worked for wholeheartedly, and I knew that they were for the community because that price could have easily been $150, $200, even $300. And it, they still would have sold out. And I think that would have screamed cash grab a little bit. And I'm being 100% transparent here, but I love the company that I work for. They are super transparent with everything that they do, in my opinion. Some people may disagree. And um, I think I, I know that we're here to stay, especially with Atari behind us. It's great. Yeah. If you guys were around for the last drop and during the breeding cycle, I, I, Doofy helped me, Lucky Jack helped me, and we were just pushing new, we were pushing horses to new users only. I mean, the community is just amazing like you're not gonna find a better one here like it, it's the truth yeah. really absolutely i want to ask this question because i'm just mindful that you might be jumping off in the, uh, very soon um i'm going to finish it on this question if you do need to jump off what are you most excited about going into the future of the game jay this is an amazing question uh before we get into it how um, we are not dropping the rest of the horses i just wanted to clarify that for vlad i got you vlad we are not dropping the rest of them um what am I most excited about? I, okay, so this is what I've been telling users basically um, who say, oh, I wish I got here earlier. I think you're still early and here I'll tell you why. There's two reasons. One, we still have all the Genesis. We still have Genesis horses for sale. When Zed no longer has Genesis horses for sale, maybe I'll stop making the claim that you're no longer early. But if you're here and we have Genesis yeah, horses yeah. in the tank, you're early. Second is when we're no longer on a web browser and we are entirely in the metaverse. That is what I am personally looking most excited to. When when you can watch the actual horses on the track and, and it's, it's already happening where the horses are kind of becoming celebrities. But once we start seeing more of that and once we have 100,000, 200,000 horses in the ecosystem, that's when you're going to start seeing what Zed can really offer to the, to the community. Oh yeah, I, I'm I'm so pumped. I was actually so close to just messaging Ebbs this morning and going, "Can I come and have a look at Decentraland?" But I was like, "I'm not going to do that <laughs> because I probably know the answer already." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, I'm so, I'm itching just to see what that looks like. I just and he's he is amazing. <laughs> if there's if there's one person who is just absolutely killer at their job, it is Ebbs. And any creative aspect of Zed w between the visuals and the lore of the game, that's all Ebbs. Yeah. He's, he's incredible. Stack up on those on those rare coats and those super rare coats and those super coats. Because if there's one thing that I know, it's that Ebbs is going to find a way to tie those into the game. Maybe not performance directly, probably not performance. But, I, I mean, they will find a way if to I know anything from the super rare coats, it's not performance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I've got I, a stack of them, and I've got two races. <laughs> I think my Coral Wave Genesis is at like a one point five percent win rate or something. Just yeah, not a racer, yeah. not a racer. Yeah, and that's the most of my super rare coats are. This not races. Um, yep. But super coats, I'm 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 a big believer. I think there's going to be something awesome coming with them. Like a, I'm going to again make an assumption. It's going to be some sort of like glitter, um, on the track. Yeah, some sort of yep. metallic. Um, yeah, it's going to be epic. It's going to be epic I, once we... Uh, once we I actually, I didn't know this until the other day, but there's 155 super coats apparently. Yeah. So like that to me, I mean, I own one. I, I'm very, very, very bullish on them. They're they're hard to make. And yep. I knew I had to get one. So yeah, uh, I've got, I would I've say, got a few of them. Do you? Yeah. They're amazing. I've, I love them. I've started trying to breed for them about nine months ago, just to give you an idea of how hard they are to get. 
if you've got one, um, they have a, a, a big value in my opinion. Um, I'm not sure what your timing's like. Um, I don't want to keep you if you've got other things to do, if you're happy to stick yeah, around I'm, for a bit. I'm going to jump it off. Yeah, cool. I got, Thanks, I got a movie night with the girl tonight. So we're going to yeah, watch Dark yeah. Knight. We're going to watch Dark Knight for the, for her first time. One of my favorite movies ever. <laughs> I'm happy to Any other questions, though, jump in my DMs. I'll probably get around to it either later tonight or tomorrow morning. Thanks, Heaps, mate. Really appreciate yep. you coming Thanks on. Thanks for having me on. And any other questions that you want to answer, obviously, <laughs> you're the professional when it comes to the game. So take care. For Jay, um, for coming on for that half an hour. We really appreciate it.